Okay. Atta girl! Good girl, Rogue! Just recalling her back to me with Vibrate. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Standing Stone Kennels and we've got Rogue today. She's just over seven months old so we're going to be using her with this uh, video, this live video that we're going to show you how we use DT Systems dummy launchers in training. So a couple of things that we want to mention is thanks for tuning in and remember to like, share, and comment on this video for the next 24 hours for your chance to win a DT Systems dummy launcher. But a couple of key things to keep in mind, safety things, is we want to make sure that we're wearing hearing protection because this system uses an actual live um, 22 blank, so it's pretty loud. So you want to make sure that your hearing's protected as well as a dog needs to have a proper gunfire introduction prior to using this. So if you've been following along with some of Rogue's previous videos, she's had a gunfire introduction. We've been shooting birds over her, so she's good to go as well as don't ever shoot this at anyone or anything. Um, it can cause some damage. So safety talk over so we can get started with a fun training session. A couple of the other things that we've worked on with Rogue is we've done hand thrown bumper retrieves. We've had her out shooting birds over her. She's collar conditioned to recall. All of these things are gonna play a role in today's training. So we use the DT Systems dummy launcher for um, training for a couple of reasons. First. That gunfire adds a lot of excitement to the could be boring everyday re um, retrieves that you're doing. So we're gonna add a little spice to our retrieving and then we're also gonna help our puppy start marking longer and longer retrieves. I don't know about you, but I can only hand throw a bumper so far. And sometimes your puppy will start getting used to only going out and looking in that short range. Well, this bumper launcher will be able to launch it a lot further than I can throw it, which will help our puppies start extending their marks. Oops. And Rogue just unhooked herself. Let me unhook her. Um, and then another thing that we want to keep in mind is when we're starting this process, this bumper is going to come off of here pretty quick. And so I want to make sure that my puppy is able to watch that. I'm never going to just shoot it directly over her head. I usually have someone come out and help me and Ethan's going to be the person, the lucky person that gets to do that today and hold her so that she's watching what we're doing and can focus on that bumper. So if he wants to come out here and hold on to her, we're going to get this set up. You got her? Okay. And then I've got my 22 blanks. We're just using the yellow loads today. The other thing that I'm going to keep in mind is I want to make sure that I'm um, shooting the bumper launcher pointed towards the ground in light cover so that it's going to bounce and roll and be exciting for her to see and run and chase down as well as she's not gonna lose it in thick cover. As she gets better, we can add levels of challenge to this where we're shooting the bumper up into the grass, into thicker cover. Um, but as you'll see, this can shoot it a pretty long ways. And if we didn't start this process by shooting it into the ground and bouncing and rolling for her to mark it, you pretty much are gonna shoot it out in the grass and kiss it goodbye, Smalls, because your puppy's not gonna have watched that mark and you're probably not gonna find that bumper again. So I'll make sure that she's watching before I shoot this. Rogue. Okay. <laughs> and she still didn't see it. So we're gonna help her. She saw a feather that got distracted. So we're gonna help her come up here and find this bumper. Rogue, Rogue, come on. Rogue, 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 Rogue. Rogue. Had a girl. Get it. You don't want it? Well, come here then. We will shoot another one. There are a ton of dragonflies out here today, adding a little bit of distraction for a little puppy. So Ethan's going to recall Rogue back to him. Rogue. I'm just hitting vibrate for him while he calls her. Good. So on this next one, I'm gonna try and shoot the bumper a little bit closer right in front of her. Then it won't go as far as well as hopefully she'll see it right off the bat. 
Rogue. Okay. girl good girl rogue just recalling her back to me with vibrate good girl good girl so that one she was able to mark and see a lot easier it did bounce into a little bit taller grass recall her back have Ethan hold her again rogue a little more collar she's a little more distracted just using some continuous stimulation now Gonna get my next blank ready. Okay. Good girl! I'm just gonna vibrate her back on the recall. Good girl. Rogue here. Good girl. Good, thank you. I'm just vibrating her while Ethan's Bro. calling her. Get another blank. Now, like I mentioned, you can start adding a little more challenge by shooting it into some taller cover, having not so much bounce and roll when you're shooting it at the ground. Um, so I'm going to try this one a little bit less bounce. and right on the edge of that tall cover. Atta girl. Vibrating her back to me. Good girl. Good girl. Rogue here. Good, good. Got it. Yep, she has a ton more focus now that she knows what this game is all about, and when she sees that bumper getting ready to launch, she definitely wants another one. <laughs> Helps if you put a blank back in. She was, she flinched, and I think I flinched too. So this one bounced a little bit farther into the tall cover. I'm hoping she's gonna extend her mark. There she goes, good girl. Good girl. Vibrating her back to me, good. Rogue. Here, right here. Here, right here. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I want her to come all the way to me. There we go, good girl. Not just stand out of arm's reach. So even though our focus right now is playing with the dummy launcher and using it as a training tool, she's always in training for everything that we're doing, which includes her recall. If I say, oh, well, we're just playing this really fun game, it doesn't matter if she comes all the way back to me on my recall, she's gonna get sloppier and sloppier, which um, we can make sure that we're being consistent in our training and say, I wanna take the time to work on every aspect of this, not only the retrieve and helping her mark longer retrieves and tougher retrieves, but also the recall of coming all the way back to me. Now, if she drops that bumper here, I still want her to finish the retrieve or the recall all the way to me. So I took a few steps back, made her finish it, not just stand outside of arm's reach, so. I think we're gonna do one more for her. She's getting warm. We don't wanna overdo it. She's having a good time. I don't know if you saw, but Ethan held her a little bit longer on that last one too, so that she's watching it and wasn't right on top of making the retrieve. But she hasn't given up on it yet either, which is something that we like to see. She's pumped up and excited about this game. She's using her nose, looking for that bumper, not giving up on it. There, she's got it. Good girl. Atta girl, just vibrating her back to me. Good. Rogue. Here. Good girl. And that one was to hand. Yay. Good girl. 
So we are gonna call that good for Rogue. Ethan's gonna hold on to her for a second while I finish explaining a few things and answering any questions that might have come up. Um, so that last one, she didn't give up on, which was great. We wanna see that where she's extending that mark, working farther and farther out and not giving up on that retrieve. And she's using her nose. Some people a lot of times will ask, do we use scent on the bumpers? But we don't, um, you can, but these bumpers hold a lot of scent between the dogs slobbering on them and their drool, as well as the gun smoke and gunfire residue from the bumper launcher. So I'm gonna just go over how this works really quickly, show you a close up of that. So, okay, so the DT Systems dummy launcher, uh, like I said, uses a 22 blank. We're using the yellow loads. They're crimped on the ends like that and have a little bit of yellow paint. There's brown loads, green loads, and also red loads too. And then that just goes in this little hole. You close it up. This lever holds into place. You pull back this firing pin and you release it. I'm not gonna do that right this second, um, but it launches the bumper out. There's an O-ring on here that helps keep this nice and tight. Um, those are replaceable, so if you ever wear one down or it breaks, they're replaceable. As well as it's got a nice foam pad that cushions your hand. Like you see, I can shoot it without much recoil, um, and I can shoot plenty of them. So it's really fun. You can get different sized bumpers. You can get different colored bumpers, but they're a really great versatile tool for working on excitement with your retrieves, working on extending your marks, and helping your puppy um, basically hunt dead. So it's great for uh, transitioning from hand-thrown bumpers to this by shooting it into short cover, letting it bounce and roll, and then extending those marks into taller and thicker cover. So were there any questions that we had? Okay, well, great. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, again, like, share, comment on this video for your chance to win a DT Systems dummy launcher. And again, we couldn't do these videos and give away these great giveaways without our sponsor, DT Systems. So thanks for watching and have a great rest of your Labor Day. Mm -hmm.